We are simply off track and we've been travelling across New Zealand for the last month. We've been scouting for the best cheap, preferably free, things to do and try as many hikes as possible. We arrived in New Plymouth in the last episode and while we're here we had to check out the famous Mount Taranaki. Volcano. We dwell deeper into New Zealand's volcanic hills as we also scout for some kiwis. Oh, Elena, did we see any kiwis? Good morning. Hello. Uh, yeah, we didn't really vlog much since we left Cape Tokyo. Got so much food on your face. Let's start that again. So, we're doing a hike today. The Mangori Track. Yeah out here just maybe 20 minutes outside New Plymouth so yeah this track basically gives you one of the best views, views of um, Mount Taranaki which is a staple apparently to see on your travels yeah, in sounds, New Zealand it sounds like a dinosaur name yeah the Taranaki yeah. Uh, here we see a wild Taranaki in its natural habitat <laughs> there she is in all her glory um, hopefully we'll see that today because when we were driving in, as you can see, not a cloud in the sky but when you look at the mountain, it's just a big huge cloud so <laughs> you better clear up by the time we get there <laughs> Definitely getting a bit steeper here now, guys. So far, it's been pretty good. We've got these wooden planks for our track. It's been quite nice. Um, gonna have a water break now. But yeah, it's good, good going. We're having great chats as well. <laughs> having a great time. After a few hours of only going uphill through the forest, we finally get to see some blue skies. I was not expecting to be this high up. Quite high up, Jeez. Jesus. Looks beautiful this. The higher we went, the terrain and the plants started to change, which definitely gave us a sign that we were officially in volcano territory. I wish you could hear how excited we were when we saw this site, but it was so windy, so I'll spare your ears. But my God, Mount Taranaki is truly a spectacular mountain. So there we have it, there's the mountain. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the toughest hikes in New Zealand. Look how steep it is. I think it's literally a volcano, but we didn't have time to do a seven hour hike today. No, yeah, it's still a good hike. It's, there's a good elevation. It pushes you, but not too much. And the track's great, it's just uh, steps and all. So yeah, we're just gonna sit here, have our practice. It's already kind of clearing up now. Don't worry, it is a dormant volcano, so it's safe enough to hike around. It's just over 2,500 meters in height, making it the second largest mountain on the North Island. We 
We stayed the night at the Three Sisters and the Elephant, but the tide was in, so we couldn't actually see this famous viewpoint. If you are going to this place, make sure it's low tide. We did though experience our first ever earthquake at 5.8 magnitude that night. And of course, the footage is lost, so you just have to take our word for it. This day in particular was actually quite exciting for us as we're finally gonna see some kiwis. <laughs> There's a pie flake stuck in my throat. So guys, we just got pies. We're in Tikuti, Tikuti, I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, but I, what's really interesting that we never see in Ireland is deep fried lasagna. I'm pretty sure it's a breaded, let's see, get it down here. Looks like a hash brown, but apparently there's lasagna inside. Um, three bucks, pretty cheap. So, plan is to give this a go. We're on our way. We're, we're looking for ice because um, we had no ice yeah. uh, in our cooler, but there was no ice. Well, there was ice in New World, but it was five kilos, which is like way oh, too much. Our max is three. To max be is three, and three is pushing at times. Anyway, we're going to get this open. Uh, I just had a meatball pie. It tastes like a meatball from or meatball marinara from Subway. Alina. Pepper steak. Pepper steak. Breakfast yeah. of champions. And then we've got a deep fried. Oh, it's soggy. <laughs> Sounds sensational. Well, I'm telling you, I've mm. had this before. Oh, it's good, so good. Good stuff. I just thought I'd film that deep fried lasagna. I'd give it a eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> it's pretty good. Very pretty I'd good. recommend it. I'd recommend trying it if mm -hmm. you're here. All right, Lena, where are we going? It's your business. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the Kiwi House. Kiwi House. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because. It's a long one. All right. It's like Otterhang. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it looks nice. We've got entry tickets over here. Apparently it's $26 per person. And I can hear them. Can you? Yeah. Please slide. Here in the glasses. <laughs> The scruffiness. Here's <laughs> <laughs> your receipt there. Alrighty, so here's the map of the okay. park here. So it's all self guided. We're just here at number one. Mm -hmm. We've got the display room, so we've got some information about the kiwi. Okay. Follow your read arrows into the first nocturnal home. So we've got two brown kiwi in nighttime conditions. Brown kiwi. Sleeping. Few baboons. I can't see anything. They're probably in here though. All right, that was no kiwis in sight there, but we're gonna keep on. We're gonna keep on kiwiing on. Oh, some some geckos. Boom. Yeah. We see any kiwis. <laughs> it's so dark, it's so hard to spot them. Oh yeah. There's a yoga going on here. Pigeon pose. <laughs> I see you. No, you don't.
the pirates we saw in Fjordland when we were going to Milford Sounds. So I never got on tape. You know who this bird reminds me of? Have you ever watched Surf's Up? Yeah. Do you know the thing that like um the talent scout? Oh shit, he's coming for us. <laughs> <a bird>. Jesus. <laughs> Are you okay, pal? You're fucking absolutely dull. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Absolutely ran out. <laughs> Men. <laughs> that, that. Oh shit. Oh my Kicking god. Off. That, that, that dog has some issues. He's got, he needs to go to therapy, man. That dog. He charged me again, guys. What did I ever do to you, yeah? Paul wants it. Well, you want action. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Paul? You are dumb. He's like, oh, I'm just a normal little duck. <laughs> Absolute bully. He's a bully, look. Bully in all the small ones. Just an old man or something going around giving out to kids <laughs> playing skateboarding. Oh. Chaps actually got problems, like. <laughs> Guys, went back into the Kiwi house. We saw one. We saw one eating. Eating, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage because you can't tape. Yeah, or... it's too dark as well. Yeah, it's way too dark. But it's nice to see them in their natural habitats, you know? Exactly. And not like just in a bright room that's. Yeah, bad space. for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah it causes man. stress. So oh. we're about to head into. The Jurassic Park <laughs> a Avery here. Look at this thing. So we're going let's, in. Let's hope um, no more ducks charge at us. Man, that duck was a menace. He's charging at everyone else. Fellow's got a problem. Sorry, pal. Look at him. On the tightrope. <sighs> and there's a parrot down the end as well. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Sorry, ducks. Can I squeeze past? She is here. Man, look at this fella. Over there. Flashes. Wow, look at that. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's trying to clean off his back better. And these ducks I got a few times on this vlog, haven't we, Sean? We've seen these type of ducks I got a few times. Iconic duck. Always ask her for breakfast. Pestrance. us. <laughs> Pigeon. That's our pigeon guys, on the side of our van. Yup. Oh yes. Man, he's majestic. These look like the things from uh, the talent agent from Surf's Up, for sure. How many Surf's Up references can Alina make in one day? Not enough. Alina is a big Surf's Up fan for anyone who Surf's Up is the best cartoon movie out there. Listen, oh, listen. No, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> Can we pass? I'm so stunned. Oh, you're gonna get booted. 
no, 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 Wow, look at their wings on the inside. That was that was pretty that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was a pretty great experience. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was really fun. We saw a kiwi. Like a, yeah. Yep, he's hard to it see. It's absolutely natural mm. habitat, you know. Yeah. Obviously not complete natural. Yeah, as close as you can get in a conservatory. But you can really feel that they care about the animals. You yeah, know? yeah. So yeah, we're gonna hit the road now. I'm gonna go potentially to a lookout and then head to our campsite. Yeah. See you then. So we are driving along and we just had to make a stop at this little truck spot. Well, not little, to be honest, quite big. Big as ice cream. You better be big. I think I know why it's big as ice cream. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Shot on this yard. Strawberry. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> Is it good? It tastes amazing. Really, really fresh. <laughs> Fresh. Are you happy? Yeah, let me try yours. Oh, oh fuck. it's so fresh. Oh, what? Wow, look at this. We drove down to the viewpoint. I've actually put the location of it in the description if you're interested. And this is where we really saw a change in the terrain. It felt like you were transported into the land of hobbits. Sun! It is mad how quick the weather changes. Literally like... Uh, Last week or two weeks ago, we were freezing cold in Paramals, sleeping in sleeping bags. <laughs> yeah, and now we're Sweat. sweating. Oh, Wish now I wore shorts. As we were driving to our camp spot in Mango Kina, we are blown away from the green hills which are formed because we are now driving on a fault line where there's many, many volcanoes. Camping in this spot tonight with flushing toilets. I really wanted to go down this slide, but I didn't want to swim out too far in case I go in shock or something. Because this lake, she's a cold one. But yeah, you can really tell that we're on a fault line. Yeah, there's all the camp runs there. Sean's out fishing, classic. I'm gonna get myself dry cause it's cold here. Sean here fishing. 
rainbow turd just ate my bait my hook didn't set. I saw him. He's like literally, it's really shallow here guys. It's like a foot deep. And there's a, at least one rainbow, rainbow trout just been kind of swimming up and down this bank. Oh look here he is, I just saw him ripple. Okay, get down, get down, get down. He's just here on the right. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. He spit it out. Oh, you did. took the bait, didn't you? You took the bait. Did you see that? Yeah. <sighs> so we got a power bait. I like to use like a half and one. It's quite big. And the hook's kind of small. Mate, I don't know if my hook's too small. Mm, might be the issue. Yeah. Don't you have bigger hooks though? I do, but I'm worried he's going to see the big hooks, you know? Hmm. Because they're pretty big. Right. Anyway, we're going to keep doing it. He's taken out twice now, so in the last five minutes, so hopefully. <laughs> Devastation. It's terrible. What a spot, though. When you, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. When you see him have it, he's chewing on it, chewing it, spit it out, chew it again. It's nice that the hook doesn't get lodged in here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these little black yolks walking around. And that wraps up this episode. Next video, we'll be visiting a city that is very famous for smelling like rotting eggs. So make sure to check that out. And as always, till next time, take it easy.